Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to see several space weather items. We'll see the new microwave sounder images from the ESA. There's a new doctoral thesis out signaling a new solar forcing player entering the game and an anomaly from the solar storm we just had. We are starting here with the last 24 hours on our star and we find that things were very calm indeed. Peripheral pops, northern filament snaps, but no significant solar flares or eruptive events towards the Earth. We still have a few things to monitor, so let's go to the sunspots. Big group on the south departing to the right, sparsely placed umbral cores incoming from the left. They will indeed need to develop a bit more to make significant flaring events. Meanwhile, as the solar wind and geomagnetic unrest from the solar storm two nights ago drops out, we look to the next solar wind worker, this massive coronal hole. In addition to its triangle shape, which we've seen several times before, like this one from 2012, today's is the biggest pyramid or triangle shape we have seen, by the way. Folks, here's the first data from the new microwave imager out of the ESA. It shows extremely good detail for both land features and clouds. That's former Hurricane Aaron in the North Atlantic. From albedo to vegetation cover to about a dozen other key metrics, this new satellite is the best we've had. Up next, now, Dr. Megan Diane Mark is free to unleash her mind on solar forcing. This dissertation explores lightning, including the impact of solar activity, from the energetic particle precipitation to geodynamic excitement, modulation of cosmic rays, and the working of the global electric circuit. This is the topic we need and focus in the years ahead. Hopefully, Megan is up to the challenge. Lastly, folks, while the solar storm from the last couple days wanes back to calm, we're getting another sign that something isn't right. Purple auroras. The oxygen excitement of greens and reds give way to the nitrogen-derived purple glows, expected in a solar superstorm, but not the weak impact we got two nights ago. Why are we still seeing extreme auroral displays from moderate to minor space weather? Well, it's because they're able to impact Earth more than they should with our weakening magnetic field. Folks, our documentary on this event, the weakening of Earth's protective field and the ongoing magnetic pole shift is about two months away. Our sponsor, goldobservers.com, is the reason it's going to be free for everyone to watch. And remember, you should be way into the deeper levels of your prepping at this point, which means gold and silver stocks should be in focus. For economic safety now, barter potential in the decline, or the antimicrobial and energetic shielding in the aftermath, there is a major survival boost for those who can stack silver or gold or both. Goldobservers.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.